Good morning, YouTube. Please forgive my fresh out of bed appearance, but I am indeed fresh out of bed. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. I've barely started it, in fact. But a postman woke me up to sign for a package. Now, not as exciting as you might think. It's not a doll. But I've been waiting on this package forever. Um, but so it's from Taobao. Um, Taobao, Taobao Trends is the shopping service I used. And, um, uh, I ordered from them, like, well, here I got my order up so I can check over stuff. I ordered February 27th, and today is, fuck, is it May 1st? Jesus Christ, it's May. Um, okay, well, so... Um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. I'm like, oh my god, it's May already. Um, so I've been waiting two full months for this, and I was not expecting at all for it to take that long. Last time I ordered, it didn't take nearly that long. But So, most of my stuff got in fairly quick, um, but they were waiting on the shipment from, um, Sunny's World, and I don't know why they were taking so much longer than everything else. It took, like, weeks longer than everything else, um... And then finally I'm like, okay, I'm sick of waiting. Let's, let's um, message Taobao Trends and say, what the hell's up with Sunnies? Do you know? Are they is my stuff supposed to come soon? <coughs> so, um, I forget what their answer was. <laughs> I think it was, wait a little longer. Um, yeah, so I waited like another week and finally... The stuff from Sunny showed up, except for two items. But, like, my other dozen things from them showed up. I was like, well, what the hell? So now I have to wait on another shipment from Sunny's. And we waited, and we waited, and we waited. And, like, three weeks later, finally I'm like, what the hell? Just cancel the item and send it already. And they said, oh, yeah, we heard from Sunny's. It's supposed to be here in the next couple of days. So, okay. So I continue to wait. Finally, I get a shipping notice. Already, it's like like a month later than I was expecting everything to ship. Boy, I do look terrible, huh? Um, finally, get the shipping notice. Choose a shipping op an option that's supposed to be supposed to be five to ten days. Um, and um, so I'm watching the tracking, right? And um. Well, first of all, it's coming from Tonga. Um, if you don't know where Tonga is, it's this tiny little island down, like, kind of by New Zealand. Um, by Samoa. Um, way the fuck out of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. Um, but anyway, so it's in Tonga. It's accepted at the post office in Tonga. And five to ten days later, I mean, ten days later, I'm thinking, okay, it should be here any day now. I check the tracking, and the, it's still in fucking Tonga. Um, ended up, it took like 12 days for this tracking status to update from accepted in Tonga to processed through Tonga. It was freaking supposed to be here in 10 days max, and 12 days it hadn't even left the country of origin, which is way across the world from me. So I was a little irritated. So it's now been like... I think it's been like three full weeks that it's been in shipping, and it finally just arrived this morning, so, um, I didn't know, I don't know, there's a word that you have a box opening if I ordered anything too exciting, um, mostly I got, well not mostly, anyways, sorry, I got a bunch of supplies, eyelashes and stuff that I need for commissions, um, which are long overdue. I've got five heads that are sitting around waiting for these eyelashes that I've now been waiting on for two months. Um, Kitty came to say hello. Oh, she's got purse. Uh, so that's, yeah, so we've got here on top is just lots and lots of eyelashes, um, and some eye bases, which I've never used before, but thought I would give a try. Um, sorry while I open this wrestling bag. Uh, 
and dump it all out here. Um, like I said, it's mostly just, I, these are all eyelashes. Um, these are really great eyelashes, though. And, of course, through Taobao, they're really cheap. So that's why I order them through them. Um, so I use them on my, all my commissions. Um, I know most people don't include eyelashes with face-ups, but it drives me nuts. I'm like, it just doesn't look finished without the lashes. And I, I hate sending a head back without lashes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to include it in the price and do it for all of them. So... That out of the way so the cat doesn't make a terrible noise with it. Um, so yeah, got a bunch of eye bases in different sizes, which appear to just be acrylic. It specifically said on the website that they were resin. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that. I got, I got my order over here I'm, I'm referencing. Um, yeah, it says they're resin, but I don't know, they appear to be just plain old plastic to me, so we'll see. We'll see. Just thought I'd play with that. Um, I, I um, do have, have done a little eye making um, with, just with polymer clay, um, but the like, the whitest polymer clay, for some reason, still comes out, like, not at all very white. Uh, I've got some little drill bit guys, nice round ones. They're smaller than I was remembering I ordered. Um, I might have to order another size bigger. But for, like, um, beveling eyes out, I can get these and put these in my Dremel. Um, I've been wanting some of these forever. And, um, like, Dalmore has, has ones that are in a wooden rod so you can, you twist it by hand. Um, and I tried before extracting that and putting it into my drill, but it didn't, where I couldn't get it out of the wood, it was, like, prominently glued in somehow, magically. Anyways, so, finally got just some bits. I'm excited. Um, I actually have a project I'm working on now to shorten the doll, but I will be able to use that on to bevel the insides of the ankles out once I chop the ankles off. Yeah. Okay. The other side. Um, now, uh, that, that may have been all of my kind of boring supply stuff. Um, the, the kitten has decided to sit down. She's not a kitten. Her yesterday was her second birthday. She's two years old. And only slightly less wiggly. So, Okay, so you move so I can put the box here. So the reason I'm doing this box opening, I have my Peme with me. Peme, Peme. Still doesn't have a name. Um, I thought, okay, as soon as I get her painted and wigged, I'll be able to settle on a name, and I just haven't. Um, I have a short list, but I just don't really love anything on it. So, you know, if anyone's got some ideas, I'd love to hear some name ideas. She's adorable. Um, her hair's kind of a mess here, so I'm just going to put a rubber band on it to kind of hold it down. Which just looks even messier, but whatever. Whatever! So, she's with me because everything else that I ordered is for her. Okay, well, that's not entirely true because part of this order was um, for my local friends, including some boots. Those are for her. Uh, but all these little tiny things are for me. Oh my gosh, so cute. Now we got a little bag of, bag of stuff in here. Let's see what all of this is. Yeah, that was extra annoying because the stuff that we were like hung up waiting on all those extra weeks was for her. I'm like, <sighs> I can't just cancel my friend's order and tell her to just send me my stuff and screw her. Um, the headband, that must be hers. Here's the two freaking dresses we waited forever on. Just like a striped t-shirt dress. I don't know why we waited forever on those. Um, and a cute little jean skirt. Actually, that's really cute looking with the little leather tag and everything. 
SW doll, so that came from Sunny's World too. That's a pretty cute little skirt. It's got the little inside pocket with the rivet and a little functioning zipper and everything. Now I'm thinking I might need to order one of these skirts. My girls could use a jean skirt. Zoe, stop. Zoe, stop. Don't scratch my furniture. All right, back to the stuff. Oh, that's hers too. She got some lingerie. Oh man, some more lingerie. That's black. You can't really see it on the package. And she has a couple of super cute little sweaters, which are indeed super cute. I really like this yellow one. See, now I'm seeing her stuff and going, okay, I need to order that for myself in the next order. So what I've got is this, and this is all for Peme, who is naked and has been naked since she arrived. Um, no, I did find, I had one, um, I just had that dress was from. We identified the dress. One of you guys told me where it was from, the Bratz. It was a Bratz dress. Um, so she's had one Bratz dress, but then I stripped her naked to paint her and haven't redressed her since. So, okay, first up. So this is going to be like a try-on. Box opening slash try-on. I love that they come in these little boxes. How adorable they come with little shoe boxes. These are just some black boots. There's no point in showing me in the bag. Let's pull them out. Um, so the, the main reason I've got my order here is to reference what size they are because, you know, nothing's in her size because she's a new doll in an odd size. Um, but I spent forever researching like which things should fit. So I'm going to put all the little plastic bags. Um, spent forever researching what should fit and came up with a bunch of different dolls um, that should fit. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at the little buckles. They're like little motorcycle boots. Oh my gosh. Very cute. Um, so I pulled my order up to, so I can figure out, you know, as I try stuff on, like, which dolls, like, actually fit, because, you know, I've gone off everything by measurements, and that doesn't always work out. So this says they are, well, that's not very clear. It says Blythe A-Zone Doll Momoko Pulip Jerry Berry. So it has, like, a million dolls that it says it's fine for, so they're... <clears throat> height to Blythe A zone. So, um, I mean, you know, you can see they're gonna, ooh, they're gonna fit. Um, yeah, the, ooh, they should be kind of a perfect fit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, um, although, and there's no zipper or anything, though, so that's kind of a, I'm, I'm imagining trying to get this off again, and you know, maybe I should wait to put these on until I get some pants on, um, because I can tell when I try to pull these off since there's no, yeah, hi sweetheart, since there's no zipper or anything, when I try to pull these off, her leg's going to come out, but her foot's not, and then that's potentially a mess, so, promising, they look like they are indeed going to fit. Um, but, let me get her dressed first. They come up to, kind of, not, not quite up to the knee, mid-calf. So, promising, but let's look at the next ones. Maybe I should be trying all the clothes on before all the shoes, but the shoes are just so cute! Oh, looks like they sent me some free little hair clips. Always nice. Um... Look at these, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. At least my camera would refocus. Next time I buy, when I buy a new phone, I need to, like, make sure that's the thing I look for. <laughs> Requirement for, oh my god, these are so precious. Oh my gosh. I don't know you can see those, because I know they're blurry. And I get it to refocus. 
I don't know what I just did. They are so precious. I know, they're blurry, but high heels, we've got this beautiful little scalloped edge, little bow, little tiny buckles. Oh my gosh, they're so... Oh, look at this detail, there's even like a little gold logo printed on the, on the inside of the sole there. Wow, those are really detailed and nice. Um, let's see what size these are supposed to be. I hope these fit. I guess I should have looked at that first before I got all excited about them. These are... Um, what are these? Um, boots, black boots, nope. Milky White, there we go. Um, so these say Blythe Azone Down Momoko Laddie Height Blythe Laddie Yellow. So apparently that's Blythe size. And again, they look like they're going to be a really good fit. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, okay, so we, come on, kitties. Okay, I know, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Put the clothes on first, and then I put the shoes on, but the shoes are just so cute. I have to look at them. I have to look at them. Oh, there's socks in here. Do I wear socks? I must have ordered socks. I don't think that's a freebie. Tiny little socks. Um, oh, and some adorable little... Oh, I can't believe what they're called. Loafers. Um, let's see. Brown loafers. I know this is real exciting me watching me look through my order here. Okay. I don't know who are these. These are from here. You look at those adorable little things while I try to figure out what size they're supposed to be in. It'd be easier if I could, like, sort this receipt. And their boots. What size are you? Red. Okay, there's the red shoes. Black. Red boots. Uh, seriously? Okay. They are titled Mystery Flowers Mori Square Based Small Cloth Shoes Blythe MMK A Zone Laddie Dal Spot. Um, in size, Blythe slash Laddie Yellow. Oh, they are so cute. Um, and I just slipped this on her, and it slipped right on, and it's like, it's like a perfect fit. Like, you can see from the outside here that it is just, like, the perfect size for her. Um, <clears throat> Zoe, stop! All of my shoes that I ordered today came from Idol Zoo. Read that at all. I doll zoo. All one word. Um, and they're freaking gorgeous. So it looks like they're for, like, mostly I ordered Blythe Laddie Yellow size. And usually Laddie Yellow shoes are a lot wider and more childlike looking, which is a problem I have with. Um, it's always the hop. <sighs> Sorry. I think that is my main problem that I have with tiny dolls. They're so adorable and I want to love them so much, but um, I can never find clothes for them, um, but especially not shoes. When you do find shoes, they're all like childlike and wide, and um, and specifically the type of tiny dolls I like are ones like this that are adult-like. Um, so. But look how perfect these shoes are. It's not at all too wide. That totally looks like natural and looks totally good. So that's super exciting. So yeah, I recommend all these shoes for my doll zoo. They're, the detail is great and yeah, super cute. Alright, so that pair, so I got one more pair here, and then we'll get some clothes to try on. 
Oh, the cat is here. I'm fighting her off of everything. Okay, this little red pair here. The red pair is... Just had that. There we go. England Small Cloth Shoes Blythe Azondal Momoko Laddie JB Can Children Spot. Hey, Blythe Laddie Yellow. Okay. So, the... <laughs> Cat. Cat. Whoa. Um, alright, well, you can look at the cat now. Oh no, camera's falling. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm back again. Um, so these are the same size, the Blythe Laddie Yellow. They are adorable little red loafers. Cute little bow detail. Um, and... Uh, well, I might as well slide it on because I got it right here. But same size as the brown ones, so they should fit perfect. Um, ooh, this one's a little tighter. Oh my gosh, Zoe, you're so cute. You're so cute. Um, that one's gonna be real snug. I, I am pretty sure I can get it on, but it is quite snug, so I'm not gonna force it on just yet until I get some clothes on her. So, okay. Let's get her all untwisted here and take a look at these clothes, which the cat is just completely laid across all my packages. Um, she's so cute, I want to tilt the camera down and show you she's attacking me. I got white belly here, and we are scratching the white belly, and she is just kicking at me like a jackrabbit. No! And she just grabbed the doll. Okay, that's it. Playtime's over. Playtime's over. Um, <laughs> her hair's such a mess. I need to, I need to wet it down and style it. <sighs> it's just poofy. Um, yeah. Oh, haha! <laughs> Lost my rubber and snapped the cat. Yeah, you deserved it. You deserved it. Okay, cat. Away. Ah, now clothing. I just got a little belt, which. Looks, I guess it's not too wide on her. Looks awfully long though for her tiny little waist. Um, easy fix though, it will just turn that, no problem. She, <laughs> she has the tiniest little waist. Look at this little waist. Um, but her hips are a lot bigger, so probably most of her pants will actually sit kind of lower on her hips. Yeah, because if we actually went around her waist with this belt, it's like. Um, I didn't even get anything with bell loops. Oh yeah, I got a pair of, <clears throat> where are these from? Dada? I don't know what company that is, but... Oh, look, they're so cute. Great, great detail for this size. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with when people can get all this detail in such tiny little things. Oh my god. little working belt loops in this size and everything. There's a little tag and working pockets all the way around. Look at the detail on those. They're so freaking cute. Um, they look, I mean they look a little big but she does have these really huge hips so um, let's work on getting these on while I see what size they are that I ordered. These are height spot. Well, that's not helpful. Helpful. Blythe small cloth, a zone extra small Licka Jerry Berry through wearing tight jeans. Oh, Taobao. Um. Yeah, they're pretty big. Pretty big, after all. Oh, that's disappointing. So sad, so sad. So, we'll see. I mean, you know, they don't have to fit in the back. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, they look alright there if I cinch them in quite a lot. Um, so I think the belt alone probably won't help that. I mean, 
if we put a belt on it'll kind of bunch up all around um, yeah maybe undershirt will look okay that's too bad because these are super freaking cute oh look there's a little heart on the tag so what size it says height spot that doesn't tell me what size these are really supposed to be um, Oh, that's too bad. This is one of the most expensive things I bought, too. These were, to like, ten bucks. Which, coming from Taobao, is kind of a lot. Size... It is not terribly clear. Azon small body cannot wear. Azon extra small body capacitor. Okay, so it looks like it's supposed to be Azon extra small, which um, should have been a really good fit from my research. So that's a bummer. Um, like I said, I'm going to make them work. Um, just won't be able to photograph them from the back, but you know, whatever. Okay, that's too bad. So then I got three pair of tight. Apparently all from the same place. Cute little bear on the package. So these are... <clears throat> and these look kind of big too, but they're tights. And easy to, to sew them up smaller. Just if I wanted to do that. These are... The shoes. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. Holy crap. Height Blythe A Zone. So, they look a little, maybe a little long, but I know it's pretty good. The size around the waist and hips looks really good. Get your feet in there. You can see what I'm doing, but it's nothing exciting. I'm just. Clothes on a doll. Promising, promising. Of course, with how nicely snug those most of those shoes are, she might not be able to wear these big old thick tights with shoes. All right, so the fit here is pretty great. They are indeed a little long, but. Um, especially since those sh pants didn't fit, maybe I'll just kind of cut the toes off and then I'll have and cut them off here and I'll have a pair of socks and a pair of leggings. Ha ha! And she can just wear these as pants. Yeah. Actually, I might do exactly that. Um, as far as the fit around goes, though, they're pretty, pretty good. They're not like, you know, super tight like, you know, pantyhose would be, but they're they're not, they're not baggy. So, okay, cool. Happy with those. Um, okay, I'm not going to try those on. There's some peach ones, but they're the exact same ones. Just a different color. Um, here I got a kind of a camel colored pair. These are a little different. I'll try these on. These look a little shorter. Did I get these in a different size? I'm surprised how soft this fabric is on these. It's cool. Oh, dolls are so hard to dress. I don't know how people do it, but they change their clothes all the time. Huh. <laughs> and my dolls tend to stay in the same outfit for a long time. It's just, um, they're a pain to dress. I just they flop all over and bend and... I don't know, maybe if you've experienced dressing children, it's not so bad, because I suppose it's similar in a lot of ways. But I don't have children, so I find dressing dolls very frustrating. Okay. Yep, good fit. Um, they look a little thick on the waist, just because, you know, the thickness of the fabric, but they're good. Um, and again, I might do exactly the same thing. Let's cut the toes off, make these into a pair of leggings, and a pair of socks. Okay. 
So leggings are all good, and then I got a couple of t-shirts, which definitely look big. Um, it appear to be the same shirt too, just in different colors. Check my order. Um, yeah, they're the same shirt, just in different colors. And they are Blythe, Blythe Bush, Azone, Rager, Anna, Jane, can children be wearing a vest, candy colors vest. Gotta love these names. Um, height, vest only, excluding other. So that's not helpful. Let's open that actual listing up and see what size they say that is. Four. Bridgestone can be worn by a vest of candy. That's the title when I actually go to the, the page on Tabo. Bridgestone can be worn by a vest of candy. Love it. Um, just a vest, no accessories, no dolls. What size are you claiming to be? You are claiming to be... Apparently you don't say. Why did I order this then? <clears throat> Well, I don't see what size this is supposed to be. Huh. Um, clearly gonna be large on her. Um, but you know what? A baggy shirt. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Not, uh, see the thing is she's got these big hips, so... And, you know, it kind of fits there, but it doesn't really work on the top. See, if I pull it tight, you can see I'm not pulling it tight on the bottom at all, and the bottom just kind of fits. So, actually, that's kind of cute. It looks like a like a cap sleeve, so maybe I, let's see, I mean, I've got it pulled way back, but, you know, I might be able to do something to the back of this to make that kind of fit like that, because that'd be kind of cute. So... Okay, and then the other one is just white in the exact same shirt, so I'm not going to bother trying that one on. So, overall, I don't know, mixed. Um, that was everything. Cat. Um, the three pair of leggings. Two t-shirts. The adorable freaking jeans that didn't fit. Red belt. So we stop! Um, and then all the shoes. So, recap. Let me put these shoes on now. Of course... These socks are so baggy. No, nope, I'm not gonna slip these on just yet, but. Oh. Ah. <sighs> so. Yes. Results of this tab I order that I waited so long on are mixed. The leggings work, the shorts and jeans don't really. But four pair of shoes are super cute and fit. Great. I'm a little undecided on the boot just because you can see the shape here is not very realistic because you know the ankle's really wide and the toe's got this sh really short little point, um, which is a problem with a lot of tiny doll shoes. So I'm a little less sold on those, but all three of the little pairs like this are super freaking cute. So I'm really happy with those. Um, gonna have to go another round, try to find some more stuff for her, um, some more clothes, so she doesn't have just leggings. So, a little bummed that she's still not dressed after waiting two months. Um, yeah, she, she's supposed to fit Monster High stuff real good, but it, I'm having trouble finding Monster High stuff that I actually like. So, um, yep, thought I would go to Taobao and see about um, some other things. Like I said, I got some, some Blythe and, um, uh, what was it, Blythe and Laddie and A-Zone Extra Small. And, yep, yeah, that just didn't quite work out. So, I guess I'm back to looking at the Monster High Front, um, so, back to Etsy. If anyone knows good places to get some Monster High clothes um, that are not Monster High style, let me know. So, I'm going to go now. Finish our coffee. 
do all of our morning business. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.